um, Ursula Meyer, Nie Eichmann. I was born in Germany, August 1924, and had a wonderful childhood. Went to the German school, but not for very long. Started when I was seven years old, and I had to leave when I was 12. It wasn't safe for me to be there. And then my childhood was over. On Kristallnacht, it was terrible. It was sm smashing in the windows of the Jewish people. Uh, my father's friend came, but he was German. We were upstairs, he threw him down the stairs and took him away. When my father came back, in fact, it was just before I left for, for uh, on the Kindertransport. It was terrible. He really, his teeth were smashed in. He came back looking, as, well, I was a young child, but I saw that he really had been through hell, and he looked very old. The Kindertransport. Yeah, it, it uh, took the Jewish children out of Germany to England, and the people who took us, they had to go back each time. We left on the kinder transport one month and one day before war broke out. My uh, parents, I can remember, I can't quite remember. I only saw them standing way back at the station, they couldn't even come near the windows. I never saw my parents again. Some of the windows were shut. You couldn't even open them. Ours weren't, we were lucky. My mother had sewn all sorts of things into the bottom of my coat. And she says, if they search you, take it out, she showed me how and throw them out. And when I heard them in the next compartment, I quickly took out what I had there, beautiful jewelry, and I threw it out of the window. I arrived in um, England the 2nd of August. The Sawyers were very, very good to me. I felt straight away at home with them and they couldn't have been nicer. Evidently, they went to one of their meetings. And when she heard what was going on about the children in Germany, she was very upset. And her husband said to her, Norman said to her, would you feel better if you take a child? And she says, oh yes, and that's how I was very lucky to be chosen to go to them. Norman Sawyer, he was an executive, I think. He gave us a wonderful life there. He did as best as he could. Oh yes, the Sawyer's house had big bay windows, actually upstairs and downstairs. And the a warden came in he stormed into the house and he said, somebody is signaling from this house to the enemy. And what happened was that when they found out afterwards, when the cars came round the corner, it lit up the windows of the house. Anyhow, he wanted to shoot me. So Norman stood in front of me. He says, you shoot me first. I lived till I left in 1947, but I lived at the hospital. But my, they had a room for me, and when I was off, if I was off for a weekend or off any time, so I used to go there. It was my home, and I stayed there. The Sawyer's way of life 
had an effect on me. They're very, very upright, very ethical, high standard, and kind. And I think that really had a big effect on me. They were just wonderful. If you could say something to Norman and Mabel Sawyer today, what, what would you say to them? Oh, what would I say to them? I would say thank you for everything that you did for me. And I couldn't have had a better life than I had with you. That's what I would say to them. <laughs>